Hey y'all, uh, this is about uh, installing World of Warcraft in uh, Wine. Um, the last video I put up, uh, there seems to be a lot of problems, and I encountered uh, something strange where installing Wine in Ubuntu 1304 didn't seem to pull down all the dependencies it used to. Uh, looked like half of them were missing for some reason. So, um, alternative, probably the best solution for now is to go to playonlinux.com and uh, download the Demayan package, which is very simple. So I'd like to download Play on Linux, go to the download page, and for Ubuntu, Ubuntu, whatever you want to call it, okay, um, just get the dev file, Play on Linux, for, and yeah, that's good enough. Let's download it. It's not very big. Now let's zoom out. Quit. Oh, close. And downloads. So I'll just drag this out to the desktop. And while I'm at it, World of Warcraft. Okay? Uh, you have to go on to blizzard.net, sign up for an account. Or log into an existing one and then download this client. This is like a trial version or I don't know, starter edition. I'll move that to the desktop as well just to be clear on things. So, play on Linux. Debian. What do you do with that? You just double click and uh, the software center will open and 4.2.1 and press install. Okay, once it's installed, I close software center and the icons here. If it doesn't place one, just look in your dash here. Uh, usually this will uh, prompt you for updates, but I've been messing around with different versions, so probably the stuff is installed. So I just click the plus sign, testing, include testing, press OK, and let's go to games. I'm not sure if the search function works. Okay, World of Warcraft. We'll choose this the generic one. I know there's different ones and then hit install. It says uh, when Lin Play on Linux installs a Windows program, leave the def leave the default location. Don't do not sorry tick the checkbox run the program if asked. Well we'll see you we'll, okay. And another warning about it in testing, it might not work. And there we go. Next now it's gonna download uh, a version of wine just just the wine itself and maybe some other things if I remember correctly so I'll be back when this is ready to go it finished downloading its uh, wine and it downloaded the uh, mono um, as well so just so you know so we're gonna use use a setup file for my computer highlight that and hit next browse and Go to desktop and there it is. World of Warcraft setup dot exe e English US or whatever your country is and language open and click next installation in progress. And updating um, Blizzard agent updating Blizzard launcher. There is one drawback to this method is uh, you can't go back to this and say install is done. And the problem with that is, uh, come on, where is it? There it is. Um, it's over 20 gigabytes, I believe. We'll see. So you press install and go through the license agreement down to the end. Agree. Um, activate World of Warcraft. Well, just last time I tried this, I said I've already activated it. Um, but because you created Battle.net, if you haven't, then you'd have to create a Battle.net account. But like I said in the beginning, is you should create one and log in and download the client. So say, if you've done that, say I've already activated. So as we can see, it's uh does say playable. So you have that option you can play right away and click play. I'm not going to do that because uh, 
for some reason any screencaster I use it won't record in full screen I think it does go to full screen I haven't uh, messed around with the uh, wine uh, settings to tell it just to use windowed mode but that's irrelevant so hopefully uh, if you're having problems maybe this method will work for you um, I don't play World of Warcraft personally I don't mind it, um, but just to help anybody out there that's having some problems with it, maybe Play on Linux will help you um, play this in Ubuntu Linux and probably other Linux distros. Okay, so thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.